Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Darren. I'm the CEO here at Suit Social. We're a digital advertising agency. And over the last six years, we've really had the chance to work with a ton of fantastic brands. We've managed millions of dollars in ad spend. We've run a ton of great campaigns. And through all of that, we've been able to boil down all of our experience into a very clear five-step advertising process. Now, this is a process that, you know, we take every client through, but it's something that you can also implement in your own business. So whether you're a marketing director or marketing manager or business owner, and you're in charge of planning out your digital marketing campaigns, this is a process that you can definitely leverage as well. It just happens to be the thing we also take our clients through, but there's nothing stopping you from taking yourself through the process um, as part of your kind of campaign planning protocol. So this is really designed for a company that's trying to build specifically digital advertising. So we're talking Facebook ads, Google ads, but it can be any social platform, TikTok, LinkedIn, whatever. These are the steps that we go through and you're gonna wanna go through when you start thinking about your advertising, because it's gonna help you really explore what your brand is, what you're trying to achieve, what your goals are, and really lay out a plan. Because I think too many businesses jump into digital without really having a plan. They don't really like have thought behind what they're doing. They just start doing stuff because they think they're supposed to do it, right? So this helps us really distill down some of the key points prior to building anything. And then we have a pretty particular protocol of once we've built it, how we scale it, how we keep on top of stuff, how we report it. So I'm gonna go through all of those five steps today, step one through five, and kind of explain a little bit about each of them. If at any point you're thinking to yourself, this is great, but I'm not doing that, <laughs> you should definitely just reach out to us at Suit Social. You can just go to the website, www.suitsocial.com social.com and just book a free strategy call because we offer free strategy calls for 30 minutes long. My team will take you through this whole protocol, talk about how we can do this in your business, talk about how we can implement a profitable uh, digital advertising strategy um, and all that great stuff. But I'll leave it at that. Um, you know, really we want to help you. And so if you can do this on your own, great. If you like it, but don't want to do it on your own, contact us is my point. Without further ado, we're going to jump into it. Let's start with step one of our five-step process. I almost forgot how to count there. Um, so step one is what we call brand discovery. And brand discovery is essentially the first step of what we do working with any single brand. And it's the first thing you need to do with yourself if you've not gone through this. So discovery is basically a process where we sit with our client. If this is you, you can just sit with your team or whatever. Um, and we go through a very specific set of questions. We actually do have um, a discovery questionnaire that we go through with all of our clients. And it asks key elements about the brand. You know, like who are they? What do they want to be? What is their value proposition? What are they selling? Why are they selling it? Why would someone spend money with them versus versus anyone else in their space. All these things that sometimes business owners haven't fully thought through or haven't got clarity on, we help bring them through that. It's usually about an hour long meeting. We go through all the questions in the questionnaire and the goal is by the end, we're all on the same page of what this brand is, what makes it valuable, what makes it unique, and what about it, you know, can we bring to market, you know, to what customers, to what people? Like this is all stuff we figure out in the discovery stage and that's a critical stage because that's really your foundation not having that piece done kind of leaves you unsettled. Because even if you know your business, like let's say you're the business owner, you know your business, you know what's great about it, you know what's unique, you know your value, maybe your team doesn't, right? Like your team might be on a totally different page than you are. And so it's important to sit down with everybody and go through this. And that's why we do it with our clients. It's not because we necessarily don't think they know this stuff. It's because we wanna make sure what we know and what they know is on the same page and we're operating from the same frame of reference. But more often than not, it actually serves a dual purpose of a lot of them haven't thought of this stuff or they haven't at least documented it or gone through it. Um, and so we really help businesses in the discovery stage, I'd say find clarity. We get really clear on what they are, what they wanna do and who they wanna go after. Um, and that becomes our framework. So that's step one. It's the first thing we do with every, every business. The next step that we go through is our strategy and game plan section. And so what that is, is basically now that we know what the brand is, what your goals are, what you're trying to do, the strategy and game plan is really how are we gonna do it? So leveraging the, the digital tools that we work with, right? So let's say Facebook ads, Google ads, how are we gonna use those platforms to achieve the particular business goals that you're looking to achieve? How are we gonna layer that? What kind of campaigns are we gonna run? What kind of content's gonna go in that? What kind of targeting, right? All that stuff has to be figured out. That is figured out in step two. We follow a very particular framework and we call this acquisition branding. So all of our digital marketing strategies are based around the acquisition branding strategy. What that is is basically just a three tiered strategy that includes brand awareness, lead acquisition, and lead nurture. 
Each of those is its own ad campaign and they work together to get the end result you're looking for. So at the top, we're running brand awareness campaigns with video stuff. So it could be like hero type videos. It could be, I mean, really anything educational, anything of high value that you'd want to get in front of your ideal customer. That's what we're running at the awareness stage, but we're not pitching. We're not hard selling. We're just getting great valuable content and we're putting that out at scale across your entire target audience. Then in step two, the lead acquisition stage, we're basically retargeting all of that awareness and we're converting that awareness into, into leads. People that are gonna take action and know who your brand is, we're actually able to, using Facebook and Google, retarget them specifically on their actions. Like we could say, retarget everyone who watched 95% of a particular video or retarget everyone that clicked through an ad and ended up on our website. That's all stuff that we can do. And so we retarget them and we, we hit them with a very specific offer. We call it the perfect offer. And the perfect offer is thing that's something that is just really easy to sell it's really easy for the customer to understand the value of, it's really easy for you to fulfill, and it's profitable. And so we package that together, and if you don't have something like that, we'll look at your products and services and help you build the perfect offer from that. Um, a lot of times it's just, we say, you know, what do you sell most? And then we try to build an incentive into it or a bundle into that, and that's usually the way we go with that. But that's the second stage. And then the third stage of our acquisition branding strategy is the lead nurture. And that's just retargeting all your past leads that haven't converted yet, and following them around the web with social proof, testimonials, reviews, all that fun stuff. And so those three steps make up acquisition branding, which is how we build our strategies. That's how we build our game plan and our strategy. We fit everything into that framework. We figure out what ad goes in what, in, in what stage and what step, and then we build that whole deal out. Okay, so that's step two. Once we have brand discovery complete, which is step one, and we have your strategy and game plan built out according to our acquisition branding framework, then we move to stage three, which is where we actually build everything out and launch it. So this is what we call our launch and test phase. So we take literally the whole strategy that shows you know, what's running as awareness ads, what's running as lead acquisition ads, what's running as nurture ads, and we build that out on the platforms we're working with. We turn them on, and the first 30 days is all about testing. So we're testing different audiences, split testing different headlines, different creatives, all that fun stuff, and figuring out in the first 30 days, where are the winners? Who is our best customer? What is the best audience? What is the best headline? What is the best creative? We're figuring that out in the first 30 days, and we're basically documenting it, and we're setting what we call benchmarks, which basically tell us at the end of the 30 days, here are the best performing ads with the best audiences, here's what our cost per lead is, here's what our cost per click is, and that becomes the new standard. That's the thing we're gonna to wanna to meet and exceed with every future campaign. So once we figured that out in step three, we go to step four. Step four, to recap, now at step one, we did our discovery. Step two, we have our strategy and game plan. Step three, we've launched and, and gone through our test phase. Step four is now what we call our acquisition accelerator. So that is, once that first 30 day period of launch is done, we're taking your ads, we're taking the winning portion of your ads, and we start throwing more money behind them. So we go take the winners, let's double down on those and see how far they can go before the numbers start to kind of go negative, right? Like how far can we go before the results get progressively worse or more expensive and we know we've hit our peak. At the same time of doing that, we're building new ads in the background, constantly testing to find new winners. So when we cap out the first set of winners, we have a second one to pivot over to. And that's really what the whole acquisition accelerator stage is all about. Once we've done all that, the fifth step in our advertising process is just reporting and results. This is something that we do every month for our clients. We have a very kind of strict protocol of how we document our analytics and our client results and how we present them to our clients. This is usually every month. So every 30 days we're compiling reports that essentially track all the KPIs that are important to our client, all the results are important to our client. We sit down, we analyze them as a team and we present them to our client. We say, listen, this is what did great. This is what did badly. This is what we're removing for next month. And this is what we're doing more of next month. And we go through that whole system with them as kind of a constant way to be improving and doing better and better. And so that's really to sum up our whole five step process. So just to recap it really quick, of the five steps, you have step one, brand discovery. Step two, you have strategy and game plan as per our acquisition branding framework. You have step three, which is the launch and test phase. Step four, which is the acquisition accelerator. And step five, which is reporting and results. This is the process that we run all advertising campaigns through and something that you could think about implementing in your own business to keep yourself organized and on point. Whether you're a small team, a big company, a marketing director, a marketing manager, um, anyone can really make use of this. And we've used this with every single one of our clients at this point. Very efficient, very happy with it. Um, and it's something we're going to continue doing for a long, long time because it works and it makes the whole deal easy. So either you can implement this yourself or if all this again sounds great and you're just like, I don't want to do it myself. You guys seem to know what you're doing. Can we have you do it for you ourselves? Or can we have you do it for us? 
Yes, the answer is yes, we can do it for you. So if you wanna learn more about how we can help you and do this all for you, just go to www.suitsocial.com or click the link somewhere in the description or bio or somewhere on this video. There'll be a link somewhere to check out the website um, and we'll show you all about how we do this. We have a whole diagram on our website that breaks it down again in detail and you can just literally book a free call. My team will go through this whole process with you, how we can help you, how we can help you reach your objectives um, and you can outsource all this stuff to us. Uh, because let's face it, I mean, even if you're you know, a company that has an in-house marketing team, do you have somebody that's highly specialized on paid advertising? Do you have someone that can specifically implement this one process, implement it, manage it, optimize it, just for these Facebook and Google ad campaigns? Um, a lot of the times the answer is no. And so we work with in-house marketing teams for this one particular task and we do it really, really well. So if that's something that makes sense for you, check us out, um, book that free call. We'll go into more detail. Happy to answer any questions other than that. Drop the comments below. Let us know what you think. If you have any questions there, we're happy to answer as many as we can there as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you found some value that enjoyed it. If you did like the video, definitely don't forget to subscribe. It helps us build the channel. Um, and if you know a business owner or a marketer that could use this or make use of it, don't forget to tag them, send them a link, share the video. We obviously greatly appreciate it. But that's all for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one.